Welcome back, survivors. Uh, in today's episode, we are going after the forest cave. We're going to run this cave and get the artifact. There's an artifact at the end of this cave. There's also a terminal at the end of this cave that we can use to summon the forest titan. Don't quite have everything ready to summon that boss yet, but we are going to run this cave and get the artifact. Thought I'd show it to you guys here. It's uh, coordinates are at about 11.7 by 39.2. Um, and this is down in the forest biome underneath the map. It's down in that big, big cave. I think I showed it to you a couple of episodes ago when we went and tamed that gotcha uh, down here but uh, it is a underground area you fly down here find this cave location um, and uh, I'm gonna try it with some Rexes but it's probably gonna be a lot easier with my bird so I'll give it a shot with the Rexes see how difficult it is and then we'll come back with the bird and try it we'll see which one works better and I'll just uh, edit out the rest <laughs> thanks so much for tuning in today all right, so I'm trying to run this cave with the bird. I'm using an Argentavis in this, and Argentavis is kind of middle of the road. It's not the fastest bird in the game. It's not the tankiest bird in the game, but it's kind of middle of the road. It's still able to pick up creatures, but it's not able to carry a lot of weight. But it's kind of in the middle. I like them because they're middle of the road. They're kind of fast. They're kind of strong. They have pretty good attack rating. So they're kind of balanced. They're middle of the road. And the thing about this cave is you have to worry about is the creatures on the ground. Obviously, there's no flying creatures in this cave, so you just have to worry about creatures on the ground. So you can skirt most of them with a good bird. Uh, you can just fly past them. What you have to be careful about is landing for stamina. This is a big, big, long cave. So if you don't have a bird with really good stamina, you're going to have to land eventually, right? And if you can land at a point like this, you're okay. Well, see, I couldn't land there. If you can land on a point somewhere on the side of a cliff, you're okay like this. You're okay, you can regain your stamina. But if you land on the ground, there are Pelovia, like hiding in the walls, um, and uh, Megaloceros hiding in the walls. It will jump out at you and rip you and your bird apart in seconds down here. Um, you can't see everything. There's a couple of, I think, are those yuts? I can't tell. There's a... Uh, the centipedes, there are uh, the Komodo dragons. I, I forget the names of everything in this game, right? But there's tons and tons of creatures on the ground. If you land on the ground, chances are you're going to get ripped apart really quickly. So if you try this cave with a bird, make sure it's got plenty of stamina to make it through here. Let me see. I'm almost to the turn. There's a certain point where it just loops in a circle, and there's a certain point where you have to turn. I think this is it right here. And you get to the artifact. What we're, I mean, that's the ultimate goal, right? Is to get to the artifact as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I think... I went the wrong way. <laughs> this is the circle. Alright, so this is the way not to go, right? This just kind of shows you. This is a waste of stamina right here because they come back out at the same spot next to that waterfall. Oh, no, no, no! Sorry, scratch that. This is the right place. This is the right way. I was mistaken. It's confusing because there are two loops in this. One of them is just a dead end, and the other one goes to the artifact. So there are also these little cave drops in here. You have to be careful landing here because sometimes there are creatures that pop out of the walls after you. You gotta be really careful. What We might get something decent out of this. What do we got? A uh, blueprint for a dire bear saddle, but it's ramshackle, so that's not really good. And an apprentice bow. That's that's pretty terrible, actually, uh, all together. So I know the art... I've run this cave a couple of times on the ground, and I know the artifact is just up here to the right. If you follow this right path and turn, you will come right to it. That's the artifact right there. If you stay on the ground path, you have to kind of take a little bit longer and walk around this area here and land and get up to that through this platform right here. Right there is the, the terminal. I think that's where you uh, summon the boss at. I may be mistaken, but it could be. That's where you summon the boss right down there. I'm not going to land there because of all the creatures. Uh, waiting to murder me down there. Hang on, where is my spyglass? Let me get that out. Instead of my uh, GPS. Oh, those are Allosaurus. Yeah, this bird would be mincemeat landing down there. This is a good bird, but it's not good enough to face those guys, right? This is what we came for. This is what we came for, the artifact. Quickly, efficiently, grab the artifact, get back out, right? 
This is the uh, TLDR version. Land, grab the artifact, get back out with your bird. Only landing once for stamina. That's pretty good. Grab the artifact. Let's get out of here. And next, I'll show you how to run it with a decent creature. I've got a good Spino, a good Rex. You could run it with either one. It's especially a lot easier if you have someone to back you up. So I'll show you that next. All right, next we're going to do this with a couple of uh, T-Rexes. These are mate boosted. You could do this with Spinos if you had really good Spinos. Uh, if you've got another person helping you, it's probably a lot easier. Uh, but whatever you've got, make sure you've got a good saddle on, a decent saddle. It doesn't have to be a fantastic saddle. A good saddle really makes a big difference. Like, you can do this with a Spinosaurus or a Megalosaurus if you've got a good saddle. For those, you don't necessarily have to use T-Rexes. I, I use T-Rexes because we found some really good ones and we leveled these up. We've been breeding these T-Rexes for a couple of generations, and these are really good T-Rexes right now. So we're going to run this cave. I'm going to run this cave with these T-Rexes, and this is a mate-boosted pair, so they're going to get a little bit better stats. And I'll just quickly try and run through this as fast as I can with these two. Uh, I know this is going to be much longer than just running through with a bird, but you'll see a lot of the dangers I was talking about initially with the bird, or how you didn't want to land anywhere because of all the dangers on the ground you can't really see see until you touch the ground like a lot of these creatures are hiding like I did not even see this Prolorvia until I got close and then all of a sudden they jumped out and if you had landed with a bird right there Prolorvia would have snatched you right off your bird and killed you almost immediately you, you, you'd be just done for let me just be careful I've got this um second T-Rex this uh I'm, I think I'm on the male that's the female but I've got her following at a high uh distance so she doesn't get too close to get in my way. Because the main thing you want to worry about is some of the smaller creatures getting underneath the T-Rex's feet, slightly behind him. And they can chew you up from behind and it can be really difficult to step back. Like, see how I'm getting this one underneath me? And she comes up and cleans up the house, right? So that's what we're looking for. Uh, the second dino coming up behind you and clean up the house. You can do this to Spinos, a Megaloceros. The, the particular disadvantage of the T-Rex is its turning radius and not being able to get stuff at its feet very well and backing up and biting stuff. So that's why I chose using a, a mated pair here. Of, um, and she can come up behind and clean up any of them coming up behind me trying to nip at my heels. Ah, here's one of the tricky parts where it gets really dark right here. You see we've got a bunch of Carnos coming in, and they're uh, being boosted by a yut, I believe, over there that you can't really see. It's very dark in this area. Again, this is one of those uh, choke points where if you land with a bird and you're not careful, you can get really clean, hurt really bad. I'm going to try and get this drop over here since we cleared everything out. Let's see what we get. This is a blue drop. It's probably not going to be worth even getting off my Rex for, but we'll try and see. Make sure there's nothing else around, because sometimes you have stuff pop out of the walls. And there is an XP drop right here, one of the Explorer notes. Let me grab it, because I've not grabbed this one before. I came through this cave before and just wasn't able to grab that because of the creatures, so... Let's see what we get out of this drop here. Eh, ramshackle. Ugh. Garbage and a... Calicathium saddle, a bunch of garbage. All right, nothing I'm really going to use, so let's continue forward. <laughs> All right, right here is the the crossroads. Uh, Capro is sitting there in the dark, couldn't see him. Right here is the crossroads. If you had maybe, uh, you could probably just drop down there and not take, you would take some damage, but not a tremendous amount you could drop down there. But the easier path is just to follow the water here. Follow the waterfall around the drop-off. And you can get down there a little bit easier without taking as much damage. There's occasionally up oh, a few creatures here. You can just barely make them out here in the dark. These Rexes. That one looks cool. That was a Tech Rex. Another Rex there. We can keep moving on. Make our way down the waterfall. There's a Yut. And a couple of Carnos here. So he would have boosted them up if he had noticed us. Take those out first. And then we can skip a lot of this garbage. Obviously, it's much faster on a bird. We don't want to drop off that waterfall. We want to come across here. And we'll get to... These are the Allosauruses right here. We'll get to where we were. You can't tame. Just uh, just real quick. You notice a lot of these creatures are pretty high level down here. You cannot tame any of the creatures in the cave. They don't eat anything. Like, you can knock them out. You can drag them out of the cave. You can knock them out. Whatever. 
but they do not eat. So they will never eat any food you put on them. Uh, we've tried. Uh, right there is the little platform I said it's much quicker just to drop down. Right up there, you just drop down here, but you take a lot of damage. So we'll just uh, circle our way around, make our way down this hill, and we'll come up to the next choke point. Well, Baryonyx, La Arthur Pluris, uh, T Rex, etc., etc., down here. Lots of everything down at the bottom of this waterfall. So you got to be really careful in this area. Obviously, the uh, Allosauruses are making our day a little bit harder, slowing us down. Just about the only thing you don't have to worry about down here is a Giga. Everything else can spawn down here. Here's another one of the drops. This is green. I don't see any creatures cl up, up close by. And I stand corrected. Here come another wave of Allosauruses. Rexes boosted by the Yeti. And more of them coming in. Murder them all. They must go. Help me out, girl. There's another yut over there, but I think... I think I can get off and grab this drop without any more trouble. I'm overweight. I gotta drop some meat and stuff off. Right, let's okay. see what we get out of this drop. Um... A Magnamar saddle. It's not that great. It's a ramshackle. And a blueprint or a ghillie mask. Uh, uh, again, nothing fantastic. Let's continue on. Right, this is the point where the cave splits into two. If you go around this path uh, to the right here, to the left, it circles back around to this path right here at the waterfall. So what you want to do is go past them both to this path to the right. It's a little bit easy to miss. Uh, I think, I, in fact, I thought I was going in the wrong path and I was flying on the uh, on the bird there earlier, but this is the correct path right here. It's a little bit easy to miss. Come on, give me some support here, girl. Where's my backup? Oh, man. I'm getting ripped apart here. Hello? Can you help me out, please? I'm stuck. Thank you for fi finally helping out. <laughs> This is where it gets tight in the narrow passages right here, where you really want something to give you some backup. Alright, here we are at the sp another split. And if you go to the path to the left on the blue, you're gonna go to the terminal. If you follow the path right here to the right on the hill, you're gonna go to the artifact. So there's two little paths you can choose. They both eventually circle around to each other. Just so much stuff on the ground here. I've lost a lot of hit points here on this Rex, um, and this is a this is a pretty damn good Rex here. So uh, to lose this many hit points going through this cave. Just be aware, you a mate boosted pair or a friend helping you out is going to be beneficial. But right there's the artifact. We made it all the way back here. We can jump off, grab this artifact, or if we want, we can run over there to the terminal, upload there. Um, I think you can summon the boss there. But yeah, that's how you get to the artifact here in this forest cave. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more art content. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Post me any comments or questions down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.